Hey, what's up everybody? This is Two Tail Caper here. Uh, it's about 1 a.m. on, what's today's date? Uh, February 17th. I just got home a couple hours ago from work and I really wasn't planning to film a video at 1 a.m. But when I saw it had come for me in the mail, I figured, well, why not? I really want to watch this. So, it's been a while since I did international anime unboxing because I couldn't really think of anything else I wanted to do. Um, or what else there was I want to buy out there, but this just came out, I think, l late last year. This is the uh, Region 2 version of Metropolis on Blu-ray, put out by Eureka Entertainment in the UK. Um, I've actually heard reports that it says here that it's locked to Region 2 and Region B for the DVD and Blu-ray respectively. But I've heard reports that it actually works in US players without any issues. I don't really have a Blu-ray player just by itself. I have a PS3 and a PS4, so I'm going to try it and see what happens. Um, I'm planning on getting a region-free Blu-ray player anyway. So, you know, if I can't watch it now, I'll just watch it in a little bit. But I was hoping to watch it tonight. Um, so this is a limited edition dual format steel book. So basically, it's a nice steel book with the Blu-ray and DVD inside. On the front here we have Tima, who is one of the main protagonists of the movie. Uh, you can see her human face here with the robotic um, pieces of her brain in the background here. And this is a really nice cover. I'm not sure if you can see it, especially with the cover art on the plastic I mean, but it has a really nice metallic shimmer to it. Um, and then we have Metropolis with the Japanese title underneath. Very simple and classy. Uh, the back, you can read this description here. I can talk today. <laughs> Special features, uh, high definition presentation. There's a DTS HD master audio soundtrack on the Blu-ray and optional English subtitles. Um, they have the making of the movie, a documentary on it, uh, interviews with the creators of the films, multi-angle animation comparisons in the original trailer. So it sounds like a lot of the content from the original Region 1 release over here has made it onto this disc, which... Um, I actually have a copy of here. You can probably look at this um, as like a bonus item. Since this is already out of plastic, I might as well talk about this now. Um, as far as I know, this is the only one out. This is the only release of the movie in the United States. Uh, this was put up by TriStar, I think, in maybe late 2001 or early 2002, because I know the movie came out in 2001. Um, it's basically got the same blurb on the back with a different intro to it. This part here is the same exact thing as written on the Blu-ray, except for the bit about Eureka Entertainment. Um, so you can read this here. Special features, it seems like there's a lot more, but really the special features of Disc 1 are basically just saying, oh, we have this many audio selections and this many subtitles and trailers and animated menus, and that's not really a special in my eyes, animated menus. Um, this too is where all of the special features are. And this too on the set is actually really interesting if you've never seen it before. Um, you got the making of the movie, the interviews, the animation comparisons. There's actually a history of the Metropolis comic book on here. And the biography of Osama Tezuka and Rintaro's um, work and then a conceptual art gallery. So it looks like these last few things did not make it onto the Blu-ray. But that's what we got this disc for. The only problem is actually making a disc to work, but we'll get into that when we open this up here. So this is like a, um, a bifold type packaging. So then this side we have Rock, Metropolis, the Japanese title, and Tima sitting on some uh, rubble here. And then we have Tima on this side here. I like the way it's laid out. On this thing here, there's a nice artwork spread in the background. Of course, it's really shiny, so it's hard to get on camera. Um, we have also available from the Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment. These three movies, some screenshots to the cell, and this is the first disc. I'll take it out so that we can get a better look at the back here. Uh, so we got some more screenshots of Tima down there and the background revealed. And here's a better look at the disc. It's a nice blue monotone color scheme, blue and black. Disc one, pretty nice and simple. Put this back in the soul house here. Let's see, the problem with disc two is that 
you can't really watch it on the DVD player unless you have one that has an open top. If you try to slide it into the PS3, you'll probably never be able to get it back out again. And that's because it's on a mini disc. I think the only way I was able to watch this is on my computer because I just don't have any DVD players with open tops on them. Uh, but this one has a nice magenta color scheme to it. It's a little bit more purple in real life than on camera. Um, but it has the same design motif as disc one. And in the background, there's more of the thing here. And in the last flap, we have the scene, scene selections. Okay. So that basically wraps up the Region 1 set. I found this one at a thrift store, and I paid like $5 for it is what they wanted for it. And then literally the next week, I went to a Dollar Tree, and they had an unopened copy of this, which of course I bought because I'm an idiot. <laughs> so now I have two of these, one still in the shrink wrap, which is nice. Um, but that's enough rambling about this set. Let's get on to the real reason why we're here to watch the to open up the other one. One moment, I'll get that unboxed for you. Okay, and we are back. I got the plastic wrap off of this. So maybe you can see a little better now, but there is a beautiful metallic sheen on this um, metal case. It's uh, definitely a steelbook. Very nice here. Um, the spine, again, has Eureka Metropolis, Blu-ray DVD. At the back is this pure black which, you know, it's a nice, simple design. I can live with that. I mean, you're probably just going to keep this um, slip thing on the back. Although, important to say, this is a very thin, cheapy-feeling slip. It's see, just peeling the sticker off the front has peeled away some of the color. And I actually had to keep the sticker folded over the back on the back here so that I wouldn't rip on for any of that info there. But I'll live with it. Let's see what's inside of this here. I have not seen yet and I'm excited okay so there is um, Kenichi uh, oh it's looking at this review friend okay so this has the artwork from the region one release on it I'm sure this was a poster originally but as you can see the same and it's a nice picture so that's fine this is the blu-ray disc I would have liked for the other disc to be the Blu-ray because it's actually blue. Um, but that's all right. Here is the DVD. I think it just has a flip of the Tima artwork from the same one on a different background, but it's still very attractive. Um, hmm, this is interesting. Okay, so to get the DVD out, you have to lift. Lift. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to break it before I even get to see it. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the disc out. That was a pain in the ass. So you have to lift it up and pull it out because this is a plastic overhanging piece. Um, so we have... T this is a shot from the final bit of the movie. Um, and it looks really good here. So we have Tima um, with half of her face gone. Because um, she, she goes a little batshit crazy at the end of the movie. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert, sorry. And then here's Kenichi. Um, as you can see, there's these things here. I'm sure these are just standard on steel cases, but it really would have been nice to have some kind of booklet to go along with this release. Um, what I understand, this is a... Um, there is a Blu-ray coming out with this movie for America. The problem with that is that these dits, the Blu-ray here actually has the movie pressed onto it you know, like properly. And the Blu-ray that America will be getting, it's, it basically just has the movie burned onto the disc. And actually, if you look at the Amazon product description of the movie, um, it'll warn you of that. And basically, those types of discs don't even run in an Xbox One. So if you're trying to get that and you only have an Xbox One as your Blu-ray player, you're out of luck. Um, I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing here. I will put in the description of the video whether or not the Blu-ray actually works in the PS4 or not, or the PS3. And if not, I'll be just getting a region-free DVD Blu-ray player because I have another release. I actually have another two releases slated for the... Not release, but video slated for international anime unboxing. 
Uh, one of those videos will be out shortly, but the other one had a few dings getting to me. So I'm going to have to do some DIY work on that because I'm not sending it all the way back to Europe, especially when it's a limited product. Um, this might give you a hint of what it is, but there were only 1,000 of the product made, and it is, of course, anime-related. So if you know what that is, um, you can put it in the comments, I guess. It doesn't really matter, but once I have that issue all fixed and taken care of, I'll be making a video on that because I think that set is absolutely beautiful. It's just that a part of it was a little damaged, but... It's fixable, nothing really was wrong with it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have two new international anime unboxings coming out soon. And then I've got some more content coming, like the School Days Blu-ray, uh, Utena manga box set. I think those well, both are supposed to come out this month. Um, so yeah, hope you're on the lookout for new content. And uh, check the description for whether or not this will work on the PS4 or PS3. See you later.